My name's David Hithersay. I'm uh, the Climate Control Divisional Director for Tidyco. The reason I was excited to start the division was that I could see that Tidyco were ambitious. Within the business we have five different divisions. The Climate Control Division forms part of that. We are a, an installation, service and maintenance company concentrating within the HVAC industry. As a division, we probably have six or 7,000 appliances or assets as we might call them. Each of the appliances we service um, has a unique asset tag and it identifies that particular appliance with that customer in that particular location. Each of our engineers' vehicles um, are professionally racked out with their tools and equipment needed to carry out the work and in some cases they'll even have stock Vehicles are also tracked so that if a call comes in, we can see who's close by to be able to react to the customer in the quickest time. We do cover the whole of the UK. Well, I say one particular customer has got 400 sites. So we have the facility to be able to go all over the country. One of Tidyco's USPs is our online portal. From a point of view of the customers, they can see everything that we do for them. They can see that all of their air conditioning or heating equipment have been regularly serviced. There is an up-to-date certificate there for them to download. They can see historically any repairs that have been carried out uh, and it's all paper free. Traditionally engineers would go to site, uh, they would service an appliance and he would have some handwritten media. Problem with that is that bit of paper could get lost, there's no traceability, there's no tracking of that particular asset. So by having the portal we're not relying on bits of paper being lost. The portal is very efficient because you can't really miss anything then. You can't do anything on the job without the engineer ticking, yes I'm here, yes I'm going to finish it this time, yes it's done. Once we raise the job on the system, we have to then allocate an engineer to it. At this point, simultaneously, the customer will be getting either a text message or an email saying, your inquiry is being dealt with. And that email will also contain the engineer's name and phone number if he ever needed to get in touch with them. So as the engineers go and carry out their annual maintenance or even attend to repairs, that work will always be attached to, to that particular asset. The customer is constantly getting updates of when we're on site, when we're going to be finishing. When the work's completed, the customer signs the screen, says all has been done. A short while later, the completed job sheet arrives so the customer then can see exactly what's been done, exactly how much it's going to cost him. So for, let's say, for example, the engineer couldn't quite fix it, but he knows what's wrong. Within an hour of leaving site, the customer could have a quote telling him how much it's going to cost to do the repair off the back of the service call. And then subsequently there'll be the services throughout the years. Um, and then when the last service has been carried out, it will automatically assign the next service for six months time or 12 months time. We're friendly, we're professional, we're innovative. And if there's a way of making it efficient, we'll do it.